Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to cover two topics which are local versus global structures and passing structures to a function. So let's begin. First, let's talk about the local versus global structures. Now, I have made a function and the declaration of our structure are above the definition of our functions, right? For example, above the fun and above the main. Now, in this case, this is a global structure, right? It means that the global variables and the structure will be available for all the functions. Now, let's say I initialize our variable with the content of 4, okay? So now, and I write here printf percent %d and then I'll write here s1 dot roll number. Okay, and from here I am calling our function, right? So now in this case, this function will be called and this variable will be accessible to this function. Okay, so here output will be 4, right? Similarly, I can also make the new variables for structures, for our structure. So I can write here struct students and then the name of our variable, let's say s2, right? It means that the in any function definition, I can create the new variables of our structure. So I had made here new variable of our structure student and now I can also access its value. For example, I can write here st dot roll number equals to 42, right? Similarly, I can change the value for s1 variable also. Now in this function also, I can make new variables for our structure, right? This will be struct and then students and then let's say s3 okay then i can write s3 dot row number equals to 72 okay so global structure means that we can make our own variables of the global structure and the global variables will be accessible to the all the functions right so this variable can also be accessed in void main function okay so i can write here let's say 43 the value for roll number of s1 will be changed okay note that here only s1 is our global variable okay global variable or you can write global structure variable these are local structure variables okay for example here s2 is local structure variable right now here also s3 is our local structure variable local structure variable means that a variable which is defined in in the function definition cannot be accessed by another function okay until unless we are passing through it which will be which we will see in the next section okay so i cannot write here let's say s2 dot roll number equals to 72 okay this will give me error why it will give me error because the scope of our s2 variable is defined in the function block okay in this function okay so this variable s2 will be only be accessed within its block right within the function body okay so this was about the global structure remember that the variable of global structure can be defined and declared in any function residing beneath it okay so remember that now let's talk about the local structure here i have made only one change that instead of a structure variable being global i have made it local okay this is our local structure declaration right and local to it is local to our function okay so our structure declaration is residing in the definition of our given function now it means that this structure will only be accessible within its body or within its scope basically within this inside these curly braces right so i cannot make variables from here if i write here struct students and then let's say i write here as th s3 then it will give me error why because this structure will only be available to this particular function okay it cannot be accessed anywhere else right when it was global we saw that the structure variable can be made in any location but in local structure declaration or in local structure the variables uh, can be accessed and made within the body of our function right so this structure is local to our function now i can make here variables struct students 
and let's say s3 and i can also initialize it let's say 16 right this is perfectly valid okay i can also access the variables property let's say s3 dot roll number equals to 42 or let's say s1 dot roll number equals to 72 right so these all are allowed operation right we can also take the input like we generally do okay so remember that in local structure the scope of our structure will be within the block of our function right within the definition of our function and it cannot be accessed anywhere else whereas the scope of global structure is universal it could be accessed anywhere in the program right so remember this this is about the local and global structure now let's talk about how we can pass the structure to one function to another we already know from the previous videos that we can pass the variable or a value with two methods that is call by value and call by reference so now let's first talk about the call by value method right so here i have defined a structure with the name students and i have made a variable s1 okay let's initialize it also with some value right now i'll write the function prototype now in the function prototype we always write what kind of data it should accept okay so right now it should accept the data of type struct student so i'll write here struct students right in its prototype okay then in function definition we can make any variable temporary variables let's say students and i'll write here uh, let's say g1 okay right now let's say i write here printf percent d and then i write here g1 dot roll number just to tell you how we can access the values using the temporary variables right then the control will be here now let's make a variable that is struct students and then let's make s2 okay and let's also initialize it with 62 right and now i will have to call the function so i'll write here fun and then i will only write the name of our structure variable that is s2 so i will write here s2 okay note that we are passing this by call by value method now here if we see g1 will become equal to g2 okay sorry g1 will become equal to s2 right now the all the values holded by our s2 will be equal to the all the value holded by our g1 now here our output will become 62 right now let's say i change the value g1 dot roll number equals to 67 right 67 okay then i again write here printf percent d and i write here g1 dot roll number so here our output will be 67 okay no doubt in that right now if i write here printf percent d and i write here st2 dot roll number then it will give me output as 62 okay note that here we are passing the values by call by value method so any changes made by the temporary variable will not be affected in the actual variables okay so this was our temporary variables so our g1 variable is local to the function block okay since we had sent the values with the call by value method any changes made in our additional variable that is g1 will not be reflected back to our main variables right so here it is giving output as 62 right this changes and this changes are entirely different now if you don't know about the call by value and call by reference method then you can check out this video by clicking on i button right this was about the sending the structure variable by call by value method now let's talk about the call by reference method to send the values using call by reference method we use the pointer right so here instead of writing struct students i have to write struct student asterisk right and here also i will be writing asterisk of g1 okay now let's call our function and now i will send the reference of our s2 variable that is end of s2 s2 okay and that's all this is call by reference method okay now g1 and s2 will be pointing to the same memory location okay either i write here s2 dot 
रोल नंबर इक्वल्स टू सेवेंटी टू और आई राइट हेयर जी वन डॉट रोल नंबर इक्वल्स टू एट्टी फोर ओके बोथ ही आर पॉइंटिंग टू द सेम स्ट्रक्चर वेरिएबल जस्ट द डिफरेंट नेम्स ओके सो एनी चेंजेस मेड बाय आर जी वन विल ऑल्सो भी रिफ्लेक्टेड बैक टू आर एस टू ओके सो लेट से आई राइट हेयर प्रिंट एफ परसेंट डी एंड देन जी वन डॉट रोल नंबर ओके लेट से दिस इज नॉट एग्जिस्टिंग राइट नाउ सो इट विल बी गिव मी आउटपुट एज राइट नाउ लेट से दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट देयर आउटपुट एज सिक्सटी टू ओके देन आई चेंज इट लेट से जी वन डॉट रोल नंबर इक्वल्स टू एट्टी एट ओके सो इट मीन्स दैट एनी चेंजेस मेड इन जी वन विल ऑल्सो बी रिफ्लेक्टेड बैक टू आर एक्चुअल वेरिएबल्स दैट इज एस टू ओके सो इफ आई राइट हेयर नाउ प्रिंट एफ परसेंट डी एंड आई राइट हेयर एस टू डॉट रोल नंबर देन इट विल गिव मी आउटपुट एज एटी एट ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव डिफाइंड अ वेरिएबल एस टू विद द कॉन्टेंट ऑफ सिक्सटी टू देन वी हैव पास द रिफरेंस एंड इट इज टेकन बाय आर वेरिएबल एस्ट्रिक ऑफ जी वन देन इट इज प्रिंटिंग जी वन डॉट रोल नंबर दैट इज सिक्सटी टू देन वी आर चेंजिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर मेमोरी लोकेशन वट एवर इज प्रेजेंट इन दैट मेमोरी लोकेशन विद द कॉन्टेंट ऑफ एटी एट ओके सो आफ्टर दैट दिस इज एंडिंग एंड देन द कंट्रोल गो बैक इन दिस लोकेशन राइट एंड देन इट इज रिटर्न परसेंट डी एस टू टू डॉट रोल नंबर सो इट विल प्रिंट द लेटेस्ट वैल्यू दैट इज एटी एट ओके सो बेसिकली वी कैन से लेट से दिस वॉज आर मेमरी लोकेशन सम मेमरी लोकेशन एंड देन फर्स्ट इट वॉज पॉइंटिंग बाय आर एस टू नाउ इट इज पॉइंटिंग बाय जी वन ऑल्सो ओके बट रिमेंबर दैट द स्कोप ऑफ आर जी जी वन वेरिएबल इज विद इन डिफाइंड विद इन इट्स ब्लॉक आई कैनॉट यूज जी वन हेयर ओके दिस वॉज अबाउट द स्कोप एंड लाइफ विच आई हैव टॉक यू कैन चेक द यू कैन चेक आउट दैट वीडियो इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट अबाउट द स्कोप एंड लाइफ ऑफ आर वेरिएबल्स ओके सो दिस इज हाउ वी सेंड द स्ट्रक्चर वेरिएबल विद द मैथड ऑफ कॉल बाय रिफरेंस ओके नाउ वन लास्ट थिंग इज दैट आई कैनॉट राइट वर्ल्ड फन स्ट्रक्ट स्टूडेंट्स एंड वट एवर वेदर इट इज कॉल बाय वैल्यू और कॉल बाय रिफरेंस मैथड अबाउट द डिक्लेरेशन ऑफ आर स्ट्रक्चर आई मीन दैट आई कैनॉट राइट हेयर void and then fun and then struct students okay let's say asterisk with call by reference okay so i cannot write this this will give us error right now okay this will be wrong why wrong because when i am writing here struct students the compiler should know okay we have defined a data type of type struct students okay but since the declaration of our structure is written beneath it the compiler wouldn't know that okay this also exists right so here this will give us error now there are basically two things that you can do here first thing you can use the function as i had told you before that is i will write the prototype in this location right and i'll write here struct student this will be our first thing another thing that i can write here let's say struct students and i'll write no contents here okay only a simple declaration with no data what is it is holding okay so i will only write here then after that i will use our function prototype so i'll write here void fun and then struct students and asterisk if you are using call by reference method okay after that we can re define our structure declaration okay this is just to tell that later on or somewhere a data type of struct students will be used so now our compiler will know okay this is already exist okay because in this line we had told it that this is going to be used so either you can use this method or you can use that method in which you will be writing the prototype beneath the struct student declaration okay any method you can go okay so remember that sometime it will give you error then this might be your reason right so this is about the sending the structure variable by call by value and call by reference method okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video